Soviet Russia roller coaster rides you. Hey, what's going on, you guys? So, need to turn down my fucking monitors. I hate that echo. Anyway, anywho, anywho, anyhow, anyway. Damn, fuck that up. Uh, to be honest with you guys, I got no idea what to talk about. So, I'm just gonna run you through my evening last night. Editing, duh. I really only ever get this shit done in the evening because it's kind of the only free time I have. And after that, I was like, you know what? I haven't watched The Pursuit of Happiness yet, and I've been kind of putting it off to do that. So I did. It's on Netflix. Incredible film. And you know what? I, I'm very com- confident in my manliness. Uh, I work out, bro. But I'm very, very, fairly confident in uh, my manhood. And I'll admit, I cried. Not like a little bitch, but I just a couple of tears. And you know that shit where... You know, you're not, you're not, it's like, it's not like crying and you're hurting, but it's just like, it's just like, damn, that was heavy. Incredible film. That ending scene when he, I'm not going to spoil it, but that ending scene, man, it, it's just, it, it's heavy. It's a very, very good film. And it's not that bullshit, you know, it's not that bullshit crap they usually try to sell you in Hollywood where it's like, this guy is down on his luck and he, will he get it together? Well, it's like, well, no fucking shitty, will there wouldn't be a movie. But it's not like one of those things where it's, here's uh, 45 minutes to an hour of this guy or a girl, we don't discriminate based off of gender, all two of them here at this channel, but here's this guy or girl that's down on their luck, and then everything gets handed to them that they wanted with a fuck, and, and some big climactic thing, or you know, a bow and a ribbon tied on it. That's not how life works, yo, and this movie really kind of honed in on that. This guy falls on his ass a million times before it just takes, and it's just kind of a, it's a collection of little things that he does right here and there, and you pick up on it through the movie if you're, well, an, an intellectual, like, and eh, not like me, I'm a fucking idiot, but you get what I'm saying, and then it just, and then it happens, it's a, it's a real life, it's the most realistic, um, what's the word I'm looking for, adaptation of just success that I've seen, and that seems to be the general consensus, consensus with this movie, I would very highly recommend it, it is so fucking good and it's actually Jaden Smith Will Smith's son's first appearance in film uh before he you know started that shit rap career I mean there's only one song I like by him and it's that Kid Cudi song but that you know that takes me back to my little my stupid little stoner days and we are not about that shit anymore we are energetic and clean but enough about me let's talk about this roller coaster okay so Hot Shot the launched Intamin prefab wooden coaster in quotations. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do here. Uh, I honestly just built the launch and the drop and everything, and then I was like, well, fuck it, I'll wing it from here, and that's exactly what we did. I was thinking maybe a wave turn, but I didn't want to jack Shilky swag too much because, you know, I, I want to implement a sense of realism and this, that, and the other thing. So I went and looked at some pictures of El Toro that I had taken when I went to Six Flags in New Jersey this past summer. New Jersey is a shit state. No disrespect if you're from there, but I mean, shit, they don't even let you pump your own gas. I literally, the the gas attendant scared the fuck out of me when I was up there. Anyway, El Toro, it smacks. It is an incredible ride, but I wanted to kind of use that as a reference and, you know, big airtime hills and stuff. So that's what we're working on here. And yeah, I just kind of want this to be realistically like, you know, if Intamin, you know, completely loses their fucking mind and wants to build a launch wooden roller coaster. I don't think we'll see one in a while. You can thank Lightning Rod for that. But it wasn't even their, it wasn't even RMC's fault. Irving Engineering out of Pittsburgh, fuck you guys. You fucked up the whole game. Granted, they probably shouldn't have been the company that was outsourced for that. But, you know, I'm pretty sure it was Irving Engineering that did the launch systems for that. If it's not, whatever, I can go ahead and put something up on the screen proving that I'm a idiot. I'm just spreading, you know, fake news and stuff. But I try not to do that. So yeah, uh, if Intamin were to build a launched wooden roller coaster, I would hope it this would this is a true kind of you know reference to what that might actually look like. So you hit this overbank into the terrain, and you actually pick up the your highest amount of speed on this coaster after this little bank turn because it goes down in the terrain a little bit. We're gonna utilize the hell out of the terrain on this, and you'll see that coming up here in a couple minutes. But that's not the most glamorous work so we have some jump cuts and shit like that because like I said I'm trying to keep these under 10 minutes I don't want to bore you guys and honestly I'm just pulling shit out of the air right now and and or out of my ass but that kind of hurts long story um not gay or anything and no disrespect if you are but guys I see I hold on let me get it off my chest I've had multiple men slide into my dms 
that I, that know me through my work and you know content and stuff through the coast community networking with all that stuff on instagram by the way at jl97 it is a private account but i'll probably accept your request because i kind of social media fuck that shit um and all the done they're people that i just didn't want checking out my shit so it's not public anymore but if you like coasters and you like these videos i will welcome you with an open heart and open arms back to the subject at hand i've had multiple guys across social media platforms like slide into my dms and shit calling me hot and i dude it i mean i'm flattered as all fuck but I promise you, I'm never going to swing for that team. It just will not. It just won't happen. And I feel like kind of a dick saying this because you never want to make anyone feel bad and stuff. But please don't slide into my DMs, guys, like that. Okay? I've just... It makes me uncomfortable as all hell. And that just isn't my swag. Uh, I don't... I never have tried and I never will try batting for that That team and again no disrespect if you do it's just that is again not my swag like do what makes you happy be as flamboyant and fucking fla fa fabulous fabulous as you want like it, it is kind of unfair because y'all motherfuckers really do know how to dress and throw a party but you know i'm mean, gonna stop talking about this just no i i do fucking you and other men apparently but just do what you want be just, I'm uncomfortable talking about this. And I'm, like, sounding repetitive, but, you know, again, no disrespect. Like, uh, socially, I'm a very liberal dude. Uh, gay rights, women's choice, you know, my body, my choice, all that stuff. I'm here for it. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm a cold-blooded conservative economically, but we're not gonna get political here. That's too divisive and and stuff. So let's just talk about this roller coaster that we're building. So this double up is gonna probably more than likely lead into some kind of El Toro type turnaround, but more or less hugging the terrain. And then I want to keep it relatively low to the ground through some valleys and stuff like that up and over some hills. Uh, what about a quad down? Maybe a quad down. I'm not entirely sure other John. So shut the fuck up and don't spoil it. But uh, yeah, this video is running its course. Uh, this was some, this is going to be a pretty risky one to post. I want to see how YouTube reacts to the algorithm because I literally told uh, an organization to go fuck themselves and talk about homosexuality. So, you know, like I said, I'm just keeping this off the cuff, very candid. I'm, I'm very over trying to just make everything sound forced and rushed and yada, yada, yada. So I will see you guys in the next episode, maybe an Appalachian adventure, hopefully an Appalachian adventure. I'm really having a good time with that park. Phase one will be out in the workshop soon. Tomorrow when, well, I guess when this is posted tomorrow, it's technically Thanksgiving. Have a great Thanksgiving. Hang out with your family, eat a shitload of pie and turkey. And if you're vegan, unfortunate, because it's some dank food. Anywho, anyhow, anyway, I will catch you boys in the next episode. Stay true, stay happy, stay gay if you are, if that's, if that's your fucking thing. Like, I don't care, but just stay you, stay true to yourself. And, you know, I love you and you're beautiful and you, you know, you deserve to hear that because, you know, there's an awful lot of shitty people out in this world. And I think... We just need to uh, love each other a little bit more and talk about what we appreciate about, appreciate about each other some more. All right. Philosophical John, out this hoe. Um, I guess it's time to go. Johnny Rhymes on the mic. Bye-bye.